in this video we are going to make a payment through a automatic process but through using a fury app so first we will create a one document so we'll go with a past entry so this is the document which I have created. So we'll taking that document as a reference and we'll create one more document. And then save it. So 15,000 is the amount. I'm just saving it. Let's save this document. Okay. Now after that, I will go to FBL 1N and we'll show you. There is one open item document is showing up. And this is overdue. Now let's go to a Fury app and make a payment for this. So go to SAP or you can search whatever the app I'm showing here. You can search through a, a search option also. So what I will do is I will go to recent activities, which I have done recently. So use manage automatic payment. So this is the app you, you need to go to use. Manage automatic payment. Select this app. And first you need to create a parameters. Create the parameters give today's date and identification number i will give it as triple zero three you can give any identification number click on create once that is done so you just need to select additional log so see the logs if any errors are there and give the company code as triple r one Next payment date, I usually give end date. You can give actual uh, payment date. After that, give a payment method. So the payment method is T here. Let me put a T on the payment method. So payment method T is updated. Let's put give the supplier number also. So supplier number is 300. So we'll enter that supplier number here. After providing all this information, just click on save. So once that is saved, so it will ask for a schedule. Go to a schedule and click on proposal so click on automate start immediately and schedule so the proposal run is been run now what you need to do is click on go so this is the identification and this is the details which we have given so just select this option and check if we have any errors so it will show under the view logs so everything is successful information and go down so end log is also successful. Okay. We'll go back one step. And we'll select this option again. And we'll see uh, what are the bank details and all. So this is the document which is going to get created. And these are all the informations which we have. So here you can see the bank uh, country, bank method, house bank, which we are taking account ID and everything, all the informations. Now we'll go back one step. We'll go back one more step. So select this transaction and click on schedule payment and start schedule it, start immediately. So this is the payment run which has happened. Now we'll select this payment run. Okay, it asks for a refresh, that is fine. Select again. Or what you can do is if it is asking many times, just click 
here and there. Then go back and click on the view log. So under the view log, it will show all the information and it is also showing the document which got posted. Now go back one step, select this one and click on additional details here this particular tab and go to a payment. So here it will show the payment document number and all. So the same document also you can see from a Fury app here, manage journal entries, just click on this. So it will show the document entry here, which account debited, which account credited. This uh, AP account is debited and the cash account is credited so this is how the information looks like and now we'll go to a our sap screen in the gui now we'll go to a fury not fury in the gui we'll go to fbl one end and we'll see whether we have open items or not. So we don't have open items. Let's go to all items and execute it. So we'll see all the document which we have posted now is been showing up here. So this is how you can make a payment using a Fury app. Thank you.